Hey, it's Greener. It's uh, November 14th. Uh, just finished watching the Senators uh, lose ultimately in OT to the Rangers, and I'm just waiting on Alfie to join me. So, hey, Alfie. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not really in a good mood, man. Yeah, well, you gotta go there in the uh, you gotta go there in the shootout, my friend. Yeah, but, uh, wasn't a bad one. No, no, no. But ultimately, the team lost. But. That being said, how you been? Good, man. I think I'm on a trade, though, but <laughs> yeah. so What's going on, uh, Greener? Uh, not much, buddy. Not much. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Wait for uh, the Leafs game tonight. Uh, they're playing Calgary. I think it's 80s retro night or something like that for uh, Toronto. And that being said, they're doing uh, they're doing themselves uh, quite the pattern of looking like an 80s Toronto team. Cause yeah. They might get 13 wins. What are, what are they called? France? Deja vu? Deja vu all over again. Deja vu. Yes, sir. <laughs> Liking the new addition there. Yeah. Your, your, oh, oh, what is that? Uh, oh, well. You're hiding them. You're hiding them. Yes, they put, it in, they put them in the right spot. I can tell you that right now. They put them in the perfect spot. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> so what else is going on, huh? Oh, uh, not much. Uh, well, you got Mike Danton making news again for yeah. all the wrong reasons. Uh, had his thing on TV there the other night. Uh, Mike says he wants to get back in the NHL. What do you think? You think he's gonna come back? Yeah. He's got. A, he's got a. Let's face it. He's got a bona fide shot in terms of they let Avery back with all his mistakes. So yeah, but I think Sean is heavily medicated right now. So <laughs> maybe, maybe he's been. He's been a good boy. He's been okay. He's been so, a good boy. But like you know. I, I think the NHL will allow anybody in the, if they can help them win. The, the thing is, is Dan. Three legs and purple. Yeah, you can, you can have three legs and one arm, but if you can help them win, they don't let them in. But, you know, Danton was a fourth line player five years ago. So, I don't even, he wasn't he wasn't that good five years ago. Right. So, he hasn't been playing in five years. So, so he's going to be in tough. He's going to be in tough, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we got uh, Ryan Miller in Buffalo. I hot, think. man. The guy's hot. Hot average. Yeah, if I was an American, uh, if I was an American hockey fan, I'd be really happy. I mean, for Vancouver, yeah, yeah, darn straight. Uh, the uh, Olympic tournament is usually won by the you know the hottest goaltender right Patrick. now. Yeah, Patrick in '98. Yeah, the reason the Czechs won it's hot and stood on his head. Yeah. So now you got Ryan Miller with a goals against average of 1.75, and you got a, that's impressive. A save percentage of uh, 940. This guy, you know, he could take you all the way to the goal. Right, and what about our Canadian goalies? Well, you know, I think out of all the teams that are out there, our goaltending is probably the most questionable right now. Right. Uh, Lobongo started off poorly, got injured, and then they brought in, like they were talking about Cam Ward. He start, started off poorly, got injured. Yeah. Uh, I guess the two that you would sort of have to question now, whether or not you would bring in Fleury. Right. And possibly even Brodeur right. again. So Brodeur will step up to the plate if he's asked to call. That the guy seems to make it all happen. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see who they end up picking as our goaltender. Miller's sure. hot, so I'd probably take the Americans pretty seriously. Oh, I would have to, yeah. Not yeah. be cocky about it. No, sir. They may not have like the names that Canada does. Right. But I think that that with that goaltending that they have, and then the scoring of Kane and a few guys like that, they can win that. They can win that tournament easily. Yeah, and uh, Malkin's back. Yeah, it looks like Malkin could be back tonight, uh, which is good for Pittsburgh Penguins fans. Uh, they've been uh, suffering a little slump since he's been down. Like, they won a few games there at the beginning of his injury, but you can see that that team needs two guns. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, absolutely, like, definitely. Yeah, it's a two-gun team, brother. And uh, so Pittsburgh fans should be happy there. Um, and that's about it, I guess. Well, we got uh, another marquee game tonight. For you Montreal Canadiens fans, uh, the Bruins are in to play Gargamel and the Smurfs. Hey, easy, easy, easy. And Jacques Martin makes a perfect Gargamel. You see the size of ears on that guy, man? Okay, they're okay. cartoonish alone. Like, they are nuts. Good coach, though. Yeah, well, good coach. Uh, terrible interview. <laughs> He'll bore you to death. Him, Craig Matavish, and Ken Dryden should have a, a round for him. So you can put people to sleep the quickest. <laughs> oh, That's great fun. We got anything else to? I got it soon. Get going. Yeah, I, I know you gotta it. get Matt back. No, I think this is pretty good. Uh, hope everybody out there is having a good one. Yeah, enjoy uh, hockey night in Canada tonight, and thanks for visiting Puck Drop.
Greener. Greener signing out. Alfie's out. Have a good one. Take care.